Pernod Ricard is the world's second largest liquor maker. It's increased sales by 7% in six months. Well, joining me now to tell us if the trend can continue is the CEO of the company, Pierre Pringuet. Thank you so much for joining us. In terms of what we've seen, some of your rivals are going through acquisitions to tap into growth to the emerging markets. Would this be your strategy? Well, our strategy is first to develop organically our business. And today we benefit from the emerging market. But what is new is that the mature market, the Western world, is uh, on growth again, which is uh, very good news. Uh, but there are assets for sale, for example, some of the Fortune brands. Would you be looking into tapping into that just because it would give you that little je ne sais quoi, I guess? Well, as you know, we, we made a lot of acquisition in the recent past, including Absolute, which we did a few years ago. And today our strategy is to pay down the debt and to develop organically our brands. Are you more confident about the world economy today than you were just five, six months ago? We're now hearing that the price of oil will push inflation up. Will that have an impact? on the way that you do business? I think it's far too early to say that the uh, oil price would uh, really create inflation. What we can see is that the world globally is recovering. Uh, it's not, of course, equal everywhere. We still have the emerging market very buoyant, but I'm very pleased to say that uh, Western Europe, for instance, is back on growth. And in, in terms of your strategy, so you're sticking to your guns, growing organically, no acquisitions on the table, you seem to say. What about disposals? Well, we made disposal. We sell for almost 1 billion euros of assets. Uh, but I would say that today uh, we can see that uh, premium brand, which is really the core of our strategy, are back on growth. And even if you look at this market, I mean, the UK is the most dynamic segment. Mr. Pange, talk to me a little bit about actually where you see the most growth. We were just going uh, through London Fashion Week, and it's amazing that in the last five years, it's really the bags, the it bags, the accessories that provide the most margins for the companies and are the most attractive. If we go on to your company, what is your number one selling alcohol, or is, is it the top tier that's working? Well, we have brands like, for instance, uh, Absolute or Chivas, Jameson, uh, Havana Club, I mean, all these brands are really what the consumer would look for now. So we are very happy to see that those brands are growing, most of them, double digit. Um, we're just hearing a phone going on, but, but we'll get switched that off in, in a second. What's your biggest fear for this year? The biggest fear? Yeah. Well, if any, that would be a new financial crisis. Yeah. But otherwise, I'm very confident that uh, this year, 2011, will be a sort of year rebound for the activity in general and for a business in particular. Great, a pretty optimistic CEO there. Mr. Pierre Pangay, thank you so much for joining us here on Bloomberg.